approach things here. I think we can continue with invisible apartment zero. Ended up on a choice. I don't know is if this is going to have a big influence. Uh, let's go with grandma visit. And before that, let's do save. Yep, that's how it works. Will me? Will you take me to grandma for a visit? I don't know. I hope I have enough fuel. I borrowed some money once we are there. Are you sure? Yeah, it's only about 20 minutes with a scooter. You're right, that's about the time we need. Grandma surely has cookies. I want to eat her cookies. You cookie monster. Exactly my fault. Hey, hey. Thank you for the money to buy fuel. You're welcome, it's nothing. Or should I thank your grandmother? <laughs> um. You see, we need to grow up. Be independent. I know. Just wait for me a little while. Just a little while. Are you scared? You're scared about what awaits you out there. And at the same time you're curious, right? You can't help it, can you? It must be hard to take care of everything by yourself. Let's figure it all out, okay? I'm excited to see the future. I also want to escape. But you fear the hardship. I don't think there is any hardship if you are surrounded by people you like. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. We'll figure everything out. We will break free. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> break free. Just this one last time. <gasps> She's hacking again. I'll quit after today. She's hacking again. Casey goes through the list of security cameras her online harvesting script found earlier. I'll just pick a random one. The last one. Damn. The picture is almost black. It's easy to... I thought that my last security cam hack would be something nice like a restaurant or a park. Huh. Okay, I, I thought I heard, heard the alarm clock. Uh, something with people but not a forgotten construction site or a dark alley. <sighs> what is this place? I'll try moving the camera around the bar a bit. To the left? Nope. To the right? I don't like that sound, so let's do this. Casey stares at the screen for a moment. What the heck? What are they? Uh, did I find another private security camera? I'm not the type to eavesdrop on people's private affairs. But what are they? <gasps> what the hell? Are there people in those tanks? Is that supposed to be fun? I once watched a documentary about sensor deprivation tanks. You go in and you just float and chill. Is this some kind of treatment facility? The music really works with the moment. You're ill and they put you in one of those and then you just meditate. That seems like one of those. These. Those. Expensive modern ways to cure people, but still, this looks kind of depressing. The images I've seen of sensor deprivation tanks showed nice white designs and bright lights, and they look like giant eggs. Whoa! Whoa, who's that? This is bad, this is bad, this is bad! Casey... Casey's heart skips a bit as she sees a man with a gun walk across the room she's looking at. Again the face. Those aren't any fancy sensory deprivation tanks. Why is there a guy with a gun walking around? Is this some secret military facility where they experiment on people? Or is this a fancy prison where they put you to sleep in a water tank and feed you through some tubes? I've seen a movie once in which robots did this to a people, a lot of people. 
The people in towns were used to produce electricity for the robots, but that's nonsense. It must be something more reasonable. People who are floating in some kind of strange isolation tanks, but are they actually sleeping? Are those people actually alive? What if this is a kind of a mortuary? But why would there be a man with a gun walking around the tanks then? Start recording the security camera. Take a few screenshots of wrong. Hmm. Well, in a place like this, I'm guessing the security might be tight. So even if you are a good hacker, after a short amount of time, they will find out that someone hacked. So recording might be a bad idea because it will take longer. So we we'll take a few screenshots. I guess disconnect and then go to jail. So there will be less chance they will find us. Let's go with that. I'll just take a few screenshots and disconnect right away. That's right, my thinking. Thank you. That's what I thought. It's too dangerous to stay connected to such a thing. I did use a couple of proxies, but you never know. What if it really is some kind of military facility? Then there are surely some hackers who could trace the connection back to me. Now, that would be the end of it. I would get a record. My mom would freak out and I wouldn't be allowed to take a single step outside until my hair turns grey. Casey takes several screenshots of screen and then disconnects. Phew, that's a relief. I've only been connected for a short while. A few minutes at most. Hmm. Not sure if few minutes is short time. I was never scared when hacking. I've always stumbled across nice places. A camera in a restaurant or a school. Those were nice places. I imagined to be at those places. But this? But I have the images on my computer now. Actually, maybe if she didn't took those screenshots, it would be better. But whatever. Hey! Hey, Kay. So what's so urgent that you need to see me right away? Don't, don't tell me you change your mind and you want to flee to the capital right at this moment. We need some cash for that, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, no. That would be kind of cool, but no. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, I didn't bring my travel bag, you know. I found something. Hmm? What? What do you mean? I know you told me to stop hacking security cameras. Casey, you promised. I know. I thought that I'd do it one more time. One last time. I found something. Something strange. <sighs> what did you find this time? Is it like that one time when you hugged that research lab camera? and asked me to look at the text on the chalkboard. It wasn't an image or discovery the last time and it almost get us into huge trouble. Please listen to me. This time is something weird. I never had in a place like this. I'm scared. You're scared? Another reason to stop this hobby of yours. Will you look at it? Will you look at it please? I took a few screenshots. It's my last hack. The last time I hacked something. I wanted to do it one last time, nothing more. I thought I'd find something nice, but... It's not nice then. I will take a look. Just don't connect to that scary place again, okay? In fact, you promised that you wouldn't be hacking anything at all. So don't do anything stupid from now on. Okay. <laughs> Casey, I'm sorry. I just don't want to, to get in trouble, okay? I'm okay. I know I'm dumb. You are not dumb. I never said that. On the contrary, you are too smart. I never met such a smart girl. You just can't use your brains for something illegal. Use it for something good, okay? I'll try. I look at the scary images, okay? You just forget about them. Forget about the scary things, Casey. Casey wipes the tears from her eyes. Thanks. 
I don't need to think about the scary stuff. Although, what am I saying? It's been me who was doing the hacking. It's been me! <laughs> Already morning, actually. More like noon, whatever, it's summer. It's March. March is not summer. At least where I am. Well... Well, yeah, you know, in some places. In some time zones it's a little different. When there is winter, there is summer. When there is summer, there is winter. Or I'm talking something stupid. I think not. Okay, continue. Hmm, I should call Jal to see if he figured what the place was that I saw through the security camera. Or maybe he didn't yet have time to look at them. Stay at home and wait for Joel to call you. Call Joel. Hmm. To call or not to call, that is the question here. Okay. You actually shouldn't care too much about the cameras. If you call him, that might be riskful. Risk risky. Because they might find the someone. No, okay, I'm I don't know. Am I overthinking that? I don't even know how to say what I'm thinking about. Okay, call him, whatever. I'm going to call Joel. Hmm. He doesn't answer his phone. Casey goes outside and waits at the street corner where she usually meets Joel. The sun seems to be brighter than usual. It's about time for Joel to come by. Oh, there he is. Joel! He doesn't seem to hear me. Who's that woman next to him? I've never seen her before. She doesn't look like a local. I guess he's on his way here to meet me. I'll just wait. After a short talk with the woman, Joel turns around and sits on his scooter. It seems like he's about to head off. What? No, I'm here! Joel! What's this? Why doesn't he hear me? I'll try calling him. I'll tell him to turn around. Are you deaf? How come you don't hear your phone ringing? He won't hear his phone once he starts the engine. Oh, come on! Joel starts the engine and heads off in the opposite direction. No! Oh, wait, he was so close and didn't even look in my direction. He probably didn't think I would be waiting for him outside. No big deal, I'll just meet him with him tomorrow. But who was the woman he was talking to? Oh, he'll just tell me himself. Casey heads home, looking at the ground. I'll just, I'll just go to bed again. There is nothing else to do anyway. Nothing else to do. Look, the girl is still in her bed. Someone wake her up quickly. Am I still sleeping? Who's there? Oh, no need to do that. She's opening her eyes. What the fuck is going on? What? What's happening? This is still a dream, for sure. Miss, are you awake? What? I am awake? No, no not really. This is just my imagination. Miss, hello? This feels different. There is somebody here. This ain't no dream. There is someone in my room. Uh, 
this guy tells me to save. Casey jumps from her bed. Ah, Mom, who are these guys? These men came to inspect us. Just act normally and stop shouting. It's all because of Joe. Everything would be fine if only you weren't friends with him. <laughs> How dare you! What's with Joe? What's wrong? I tell you afterwards. I don't have time now. Yeah, what are you doing? What's going on? Did you notice your friend acting suspicious lately? Did he act weird? I don't know. I see. Did he tell or give you anything scary? Actually, it's the other way around. She thinks to herself. Scary? You're the one who is scary. I ask again. Did he show you something scary or tell you something weird? No! He didn't do or tell me anything weird. Now leave me alone! Joel caught a new deadly virus and is now in a special hospital. You won't see him. You won't see him for a while. Will he be okay? Can you answer? However, we must inspect your room to make sure you are not in danger. What's happening? Please leave the room. A colleague in the other room will give you a vaccine. What's happening? Casey goes into the living room where another man in a suit injects her with a vaccine. She faints. Okay, so as she fainted, I guess we can actually end the second episode of Invisible Apartment zero of course make a save before that and hopefully you enjoy it a visual novel by Miran Kazarka so far pretty good oh not pretty it's good it's good I wonder where this is going we'll see that in the future see ya